Hello team, my name is Taliban. Welcome to another uh, lesson in AutoNation. Um, so today we're going to be learning how to automate a forest gathering system and looking at all the parts and intricacies involved in it. First things first, you're going to need to create yourself a crude bench and you're also going to need a wood router. So in order to gather up all of that stuff, it's recommended that you you gather each individual component. Um, and it's really hard because your inventory only stacks the same item. You can't actually stack multiple of it. But if you go and right click on it in the bottom left corner here, and it will move it onto the right. OK, the next major item you're going to actually need is going to be one of these basic work benches. So we're going to need two more logs, four more poles and a stone couple stones. Okay, once you have these items assembled, you should have everything you need in order to make the router. The biggest reason that you want to make the router is you're eventually going to need, in order to automate it, the actual worker assembler. Um, and this will require the use of gears in order to uh, get your system up and running. And as many of you will likely enough point out, uh, you can totally get away without having to have a router uh, if you're, all you're going for is the crude bot, crude worker bot, which only requires a crude gear. However, you can jump straight up to the next level in using a basic worker bot, all by only installing a wood router in order to get a regular gear instead of a crude gear. Okay, here comes kind of the hardest part of the video. You should have made up at least five robots, and then you have to press the space bar in order to instruct. You're going to teach them to record or to chop down a pine tree. That's all this one needs to do. We can even remove that move to location. And we're just going to hit repeat and we're going to hit play. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated because right, he doesn't have a tool. So how do we teach him to actually have a tool? Well, we can stop the video or stop the uh, recording there. Record, essentially go back into the teaching mode and until hands empty. Interesting. That breaks that repeat cycle. Go grab a wooden axe. Then hit repeat one more time to add one more repeat so that then we can hit play. Oh, he finds out he doesn't have a tool in his hand. So he can go grab a pole and then he can go out and do his job. Very interesting cycle. Next up on the list of things to do is to record. We want to make sure that we have all these tree seeds captured because they go away over time. And that's all we need to do. And now we hit repeat and then we hit go. And so now he's going to go just always, always, always collect up the tree seeds. And that's exactly what we want because we want to make sure that he is fully ready to um, replant the seeds once we get the opportunity to do so instead of losing the seeds over time. OK, the same premise applies to being able to replant the trees. So essentially, we're going to hop over here. We shoot. If you need to delete stuff, you can right click left click in order to dig a hole it says dig a hole like that move to tree soil use held item repeat until hands are empty at which time go take from wooden shovel storage repeat same idea as the wood chopper he does the same thing and he's off and running to do his job great two more tasks to assign pretty straightforward ones as well grab a log place it in the storage bingo Hit repeat and go. And now he's putting it into the storage. And now I am kind of in the way. We grab this guy. We hit record. Grab one of the seeds. And then I want you to go plant it like that. Remove the weight. We didn't quite get that one correctly. Hold on. Grab a seed and then plant it in a hole. Repeat, go. And there, we're off to the races. He grabbed a seed, he's off, he found a hole, and he planted it. Boom. Excellent work. And now everybody's doing their job. Up and running, the forest operation took me all of about 20 minutes to get going. And then they're fully automated. They're pumping out the logs, they're pumping out the seeds, and they're using tools that you don't have to replace every single time. 
and that's all there is to it. A couple of small things to be able to improve this. Uh, you can actually assign one of your workers in order to recharge the other workers. Um, we can set up the kind of factory functionality of having them take their own or create tools, which would happen back here more of in our factory instead of out here in our, um, I guess, resource gathering area. But yeah, that's all there really is to it. And now they're, they're fully sustained, uh, except for this guy is going to run out of power here. But either way, thank you so much for watching this uh, little tutorial on Autonauts, and I hope to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye.